I felt a disturbance in the force. I turn round. I see this big, menacing-looking dude. He was tall, six foot eight, not massively wide, but he was long and he was rangy. He was a rangy dude. He had an angry look about him. Someone who just looked like he wanted trouble. He had wild eyes and he was staring. He was staring right at me. I look round, just down to my right, stewardess on the floor. Ooh, what's going on? And he is wild, out of control, trying with all his might to open the door of the plane. I run at the guy, end up rugby tackling him. I suppose now you call it a good shoot on the MMA. Next thing I know, we're scrapping. He's, uh, he's trying to punch me from the from the bottom. I'm on top, trying to kind of keep him pinned down. Everyone else is piling in. I'm getting punched at the back of the head. One of the stewardesses comes running around the corner. She's got these ties, you know, the kind of plastic ties you get around toys and stuff like that. But it turns out they also use them as handcuffs on the airplanes. At the same time, he's trying to bite me. He's dirty fighting and talking wild gibberish as well as he's doing his stunk about. Take the guy, he's gone. Next thing you know, FBI come on. Right, we need to speak to certain people on the plane. I'm selected. Everyone else gets off the plane. We have to go and have our interview. They're not, they're not comfortable questions. And they're not like, well done, sir, you're a hero. I'm just like, look, all I see is this guy trying to open the door of the plane and I'm trying to stop him from opening the door of the plane. But anyway, 